Well, welcome to Thursday evening. I'm sliding in a little bit late uh, this Thursday for good reason. Um, my family and I have been out hiking in the great outdoors and most of us are sunburned. Amazingly, not me this time. I'm usually the one that gets completely uh, sunburned. You'd think I'd have learned after all these years of being a redhead, but no. Um, so yeah, so I'm sliding in a little bit late tonight, but I've still got some twinkly lights. If you can see back there, they're, they're blinking at us. Um, I've still got a piano right here. I'm still here, you are here. So I think that we should go ahead and share some music. So we have been trucking through these Thursdays now for, man, since, uh, since the album came out actually. Um, January 29th, that was actually a Friday, and we had our first live, live stream then, and every single Thursday since then, despite Facebook uh, putting me in copyright jail for my own videos and hopping over here to YouTube, and uh, we've done it. <laughs> we've done it all. So I'm glad that you're here. I have no intentions of going anywhere, and I'm really excited tonight to share the final video for the uh, album, uh, a song that I haven't shared. You know, sometimes I've given little sneak peeks of little things here and there to, uh, to certain people, especially my email list. This is a video, this is a song that I really haven't shared with anyone. I haven't played it, definitely not out anywhere, but I haven't played it anywhere on the interwebs. So I'm going to play it, uh, and we're going to see a video a little bit later on. But first, let's kick it off with something to something to ease into Thursday. And if you're watching right now, thank you. And you know, send the link to somebody you know that likes music. You can even since we're watching on YouTube right now, you can even like put me up on the big TV in your house if you've got one of those um, intelligent sort of TVs. So we're going to keep it short and sweet tonight, but that we can still have a special time together. It's 
that's a tune called Street Lights. That's a, uh, uh, one of the songs off of my, my first album that came out uh, in 2019. And uh, welcome, by the way, if you're just joining me. But um, yeah, that's off of my album called Shifting Sands. And that's one of those tunes that um, I wrote it on guitar. And then I shifted it over to keys. And I recorded it as a keyboard song. There's like keyboard and cello and drums and you know things like that in it and then um, played it out you know performed it pretty regularly that way and then somewhere along the way migrated it back to acoustic guitar um, and now I don't know I just decided tonight to play it on the piano for you so you never know what's gonna happen when it's just me left to my own devices here uh, welcome, <clears throat> come on in to the cocoon. This is where we are. This is where I am all the time, but on Thursday nights, I invite all you guys to come on in. If you're here, say hello. If you're here, say something in the chat down there because I can see your, um, your comments and your questions and your emojis and whatever else you want to throw in there. Um, so here's the deal with our live stream. It's not just me and my piano and my twinkly lights playing songs for you. We are gonna watch some videos. Um, I don't know if you guys uh, like to watch music videos. I grew up with a lot of MTV, so um, I, I also used to do the thing of like um, watching, being on the phone with a friend while you're both watching the same thing on the same channel in your separate houses. I don't know if you guys have ever done that. So I used to do that sort of thing when I was a teenager and this is kind of like that, right? We get to hang out and watch something together. So tonight, we are not going to see just one video together. We're going to watch the video, of course, from Again, which is the last song on the new album, Cocoon. But I was just mentioning my previous album from 2019. We are also going to watch the video from the last song from the album Shifting Sand. And I'll tell you why. In my mind, these songs are like partner songs. They go together, uh, they have the same spirit to me, they have the same mood. They're not necessarily about the same things, but they are songs that are linked somehow. So uh, we are going to watch, first we're gonna watch the video for Again, then we're going to go right into the video for The Tallest Tree. And then we'll, you know, tell some stories and I'll play some more songs for you. So I'm glad that you're here. Um, get a beverage, pop this video up on your TV or, you know, whatever. And uh, let's enjoy. Oh, 
watching some uh, some music videos with me. Uh, I hadn't, you know, I, I decided today that I wanted to share that tallest tree video just cause, and you know, I hadn't, I really hadn't watched it in, in quite a while. And uh, I had forgotten some of the little things in there. So I, I want to mention first that both of these videos were made by me. Um, I'm, I do not proclaim to be a, a cinematic genius, um, but I do really relish making visuals to go with my music because when I'm writing songs, I think in, in visuals. I think in, you know, like a, a, when in terms of storylines, it's like a visual storyline. A lot of imagery always is in my head. And, uh, you know, that's something that I, that I tell my piano students, too, when they're working on a song, like, you know, have that imagery in your head when you're playing, as you're, as you're creating. Because if you have it in here, your audience, they may not have the exact same picture that you're projecting, but, you know, they pick up on that. So... Anyways, I, uh, I made both of these videos, but I want to give some props on the tallest tree to, to two folks. Um, 
Sasha Claravazian, who is a fantastic songwriter and arranger and just all around musician. And he shot that vid parts of that video with me. And also, uh, I wanted to mention Peggy Hanna because she let us wander around <laughs> in, on her property um, at sunset with a, a video camera. And um, also that is her grand piano in her home that I'm playing there. That's her, um, it's her father's piano that she has inherited. And so whenever I play it at um, one of Peggy's porch parties, she always asks me to, to play some music on her, on her dad's piano because that's a really special thing. And she's a beautiful person and has a wonderful series called Peggy's Porch Party. She's also part of the Black Fret uh, Association. And, and we know that Black Fret here in Austin is a group that supports independent musicians. So anyways, and a lot of that footage um, in both of these films is, um, you know, things that I shot on my own, just being out in nature and things like that. So I'm gonna play these couple songs. Um, if anyone is, if anyone's tuned in and you haven't said hi, say hi over there in the chat. Um, you can listen to really any of these songs, but you can, can listen to the full album versions uh, at the link that I dropped into our chat. It takes you to any platform uh, that you would care to use. I uh, highly recommend Bandcamp, where you can purchase both of these albums. And you can also pregame by watching the full movie before next week. But let me play some music for you guys. If you have any questions about these songs or how these songs came to be or what they're about, I'll give you some more behind the scenes sort of things. I have two little stories I want to tell. Maybe, you know what, I'll mention one thing before I play The Tallest Tree. So when I wrote this song, years ago I knew I wanted a weird sort of undercurrent kind of sound in the background and of course you know I've got like a keyboard and a computer and I could have picked some kind of crazy synth or whatever but instead what I did was I got my accordion out I have an accordion under this piano <laughs> I got out my accordion and um, I just, I picked one of the lowest, most out-of-tune notes, and believe me, there's a lot of out-of-tune notes on my accordion, and just turned it into a drone, and just kept going the whole length of the song underneath everything and put it through some crazy filters. But when it came time to record it at the studio, it was me, Britton Weisenhertz, and then my good friend, uh, John Michael Rogers, who came in, he was hanging around, because he we had tracked another song that day. And Britton has an antique pump organ, which is kind of similar to an accordion, because it's got air flowing through it, and it's a human-powered instrument. You pump your feet like a bicycle to make the sound go. And it's also an antique, and it's a half-step out of tune with, like, modern tuning. So John Michael worked some John Michael magic on that pump organ and uh, came up with a fantastic drone. And that's what you hear as the undercurrent in the background um, in that video. But my demo will always forever, in my mind, be that attitude accordion drone. So anyways, here's the tallest tree.
I feel like going right into the next song.
Playing those songs makes me feel just such a um, deep like connection with my piano. And both of these songs, when I was writing them and playing them, more so than I think any of the other things that I've written, take me to a different place, a different wherever that place is, that special place that we go when there's something magical about what we're doing. And even after a day like this where I've been out in the sun, hiking with my dog, getting sunburned, doing driving here and doing there, when I sit down to play these songs, which I'm really glad that um, I get the chance to sit down and play these songs for you, and I'm glad that you're here, I get to go to that place which is a very beautiful and very calm place. So I hope that listening to these things takes you guys there too. Uh, and this is, why, this is why I play music for you guys. This is why I make these sounds and put them out into the universe and hope that somebody will uh, pick up on them and listen to them and, and feel the same way too. So, um, the Tallest Tree, I think one of the, my favorite times that I've performed that was at Folk Alliance last year. And I was in a room, um, and if you know Folk Alliance, it's mainly people with guitars and uh, you know that, that sort of acoustic folk music. And I was there with my keyboard. And there was a, a gentleman who played just a really amazing Irish, uh, I don't think it was a traditional Irish folk song. I think it was one that he had written, but it certainly sounded like a traditional Irish folk song. And everyone in the room just felt I, just like this amazing connection. And then I got to play The Tallest Tree after that. And ever since then, I, I, I see like windswept uh, Irish cliffs and Atlantic Ocean when I'm, when I'm playing that piece. So that's one of my favorite times I've gotten to perform that. And again, which is the last song. You know, what's interesting, it was almost the very first song on the album. I almost kicked the whole album off with that song, but I decided not to at the last second. So anyways, it's the last piece on the album. And that's also the one of the songs that really gave me the idea to turn this whole album really into a concept album where it was music immersed in the sounds from the world around me because when I was writing that song here at the piano I had my phone plunked on the piano like I usually do when I'm working on ideas and my kids were running around in the backyard which is I have is right on the other side of these windows that, that you can't see um, if I took back the fourth wall you could see them and they were splashing and you know like one of those inflatable pools and my kids are way too big for an inflatable pool by the way <laughs> but they were laughing and they were going nuts and they were splashing water and giggling and just, you know, having a great time. And all of that filtered through the windows and was picked up on my phone when I was writing that song. And it was just, I couldn't, I couldn't help but go, oh, that's what we're doing with this album because it captured everything that is this moment in time for me that I'm, I'm thinking about things, I'm, I'm having ideas, I'm having music coming through me into the world and I'm surrounded even more by my family and we are here on this little corner of the universe together and everything we do is influencing Everything that we do is part of everybody else's experience of this time. And that's, that song was really what um, confirmed that idea that I had, that I wanted to put some sounds from my universe that weren't musical instruments into this. So that is the story for again. So we are going to wrap things up tonight, and I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. I know it's short and sweet tonight, and I was even running behind schedule, but next week, I really want everyone to tune in, tell 10 friends, text your friends, give them 
this YouTube link, give them the link to my um, uh, YouTube channel. And we are going to have a full length album watch party and I'm going to perform the album from front to back in order. It's going to be a cocoon extravaganza. And I want you all to be here. And I want us to have as many eyes on this program as possible because I think it's super cool and I think that it's different than a lot of the live streams. And I want um, everyone to experience it with me because I'm really happy to share this creation with you guys. So next week, 7.30, be here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, there is a little picture of me down in the corner here. I'm wearing a blue shirt. If you click on that, you can subscribe to the channel. You get a reminder of, of when I'm going live. And tell your friends. Tune in. You can put it on the big screen. It'll be an event. And we will have probably like an hour long um, show next week. So we're going to watch the whole film. And then we're going to listen. I'm going to perform the whole thing, which I've never done before. So it's going to be awesome. If you want to pre-game, you can go to Bandcamp. You can go to that link that I dropped in the comments and you can purchase Cocoon and it'll come with the film also. And then you can tune in and watch it with your favorite snack and beverage and it's gonna be awesome. So thanks to everybody for being here. I will see you next week. Next week is the really big show, really big show. So be sure and don't miss it. Okay? Bye, everyone. Happy Thursday. Take care.